And next up, we have the review for the webcomic Dungeon Seeker. This is also a um, web a web novel version of this, which I'll speak about in a little bit. Uh, but this is the review for the webcomic version. Here's the, uh, it, it's currently 30, it's a total 30th chapter, I should say. It is a completed series, which is really rare. Um, there is an English publisher. Um, so what we're actually going to be talking about is, is fan translations of the story. Um, here's the author description. Junpei Takeda. A high school student is childhood friends with N N Norika Tetsumiya and the bully Kido Shota. One day, during the usual course of bullying Junpei, they were suddenly summoned to a different world by the whim of a god. Summoned heroes with cheats, or so he thought. But it turns out Junpei's stats were, e were even worse than an average farmer. Tricked into a deadly labyrinth by the only one he trusts, he walks the journey for revenge. And that's a fairly accurate description. Essentially, like the first and second chapter of thirty-three. Um, this is is a seriously dark uh, RPG dungeon dive um, that is initially set up like many Asteki stories. I'm, and I'm saying the word right now, absolutely no way. <laughs> many tr uh, transported to a fantasy RPG world stories. Um, a group of teenagers are teleported teleported from their world to another. Only in this case, it's a by a megalomaniac deity who is bored and very cruel. The main character is given substandard starting stats, while his bully classmates are given nicely boosted ones with powerful classes. And once in the new role, the main character clings to his humanity, spites the hardships of the world, and pairs with his one childhood friend that was brought to the world. He's tricked into sacrificing himself to a dungeon, and that starts this cruel brutal journey of a guy hell-bent on revenge um and most of the story takes place again in in the actual dungeon where he's he finds himself and the main character has to fight these terribly powerful monsters and gradually give up everything that makes him human in pursuit of his goal um there's lots of fights there's lots of levels and abilities and dark and tragic stories along the way um and yet the ending when i got there was very satisfying um, and one, it's one of the few uh, manga slash web comics that I've read that has an actual clear ending. It's like super rare my 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 experience to, to find something with a, like the legitimate solid ending. Um, it's a really good read. I really th I like it. Um, but I do have to forewarn you: this is gory. This is dark. Like there are some seriously dark and terrible things that happen um, in the web comic and, it, and the 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 graphics uh, the the imagery the the drawings are are, are graphic in some places um, so it's definitely adult content um, there's not like well I'm, I'm, I'm just that's what I'm gonna say um, and the again there is a web novel version of this that apparently is even worse it's more graphic and more terrible and like the worst of humanity um, I have an author friend um, Charles Dean, who, who, who'd read it. And he's like, oh no, I've, I've done both. I've read the novel and I read the comic and the novel is a lot worse and it doesn't have an ending. Um, so I, I like the web comic for, for that reason and that it does have an ending. And even <laughs> apparently it's, it's not quite as bad as the novel. Um, but for me, I was like, I, I, I'm not into horror. Uh, if you've ever watched the show, or if you've watched my reviews of some of the, some of the horror <laughs> novels, RPG, literally novels that have come out, I have a very specific limit of like, oh, this horror gore stuff. And this one just hits that limit and that it's not too terrible uh for me um but it, it there the dark things were definitely enough i was like oh my gosh what's the next terrible thing that's going to happen in this story um and it was it was entertaining for that reason um so i give it a score of 7.7 .7 out of 10 i had a good time with it um i'm going to drop i'm going to actually show in the video version of the podcast the um artwork of it the actual webcomic itself so you can see the visual styling it's black and white um but all the lines are super crisp um the the artwork is is visceral um i think um, matt Dinneman would and, and a few other people <laughs> that i know in the community um would actually like like the horrorish elements of the story um so uh to just scrolling through it now so you can see exactly what it is like there's like i said terrible terrible things happen at this main character like the few times where you're like oh Look, he's happy. That can't that, that can't bode well. If he's happy now, the author is going to do terrible things to him later, and you know it happens. So um, interesting thing. So there you go. You got a chance to see some of the artwork, character designs, and you know looks nice. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's going to be Dungeon Seeker uh, with the score of seven point seven out of ten.